he gets booed on the way to the ring. <laughs> like it was, it was almost like a soccer stadium in Europe, mm-hmm. you know, type, type like booing. Like he's lucky he made it to the ring without getting just beer and everything were, was thrown were, at him. There were some places we went where I did. They threw bottles at me in oh, Mexico. Man. They had to they that, had to put their the, hands. They had to put their hands above my head and get me out of there because they so, threw bottles at me. Mike Kyle is on top of Wes, and Wes is like, uh, what are you doing, like head coach? No, I pulled guard because I had him in a guillotine, and Mm -hmm. I had it tight against the cage, and boom, I went down, had him, and he he quit. He hit me a couple times, and he quit, and I thought he was getting ready to tap because he felt like he was even getting ready to tap because I didn't, and all of a sudden, he spit his mouthpiece out and bit me. Oh, my God, really? Dude, this guy takes a fight last minute. That that was like on two weeks' notice, right? Yeah, I took that the day before at weigh-ins. Dana, they threw me out just to be there in case Tim failed his drug test. And at weigh-ins, on the way to the weigh-ins, Dana said, "Hey, would you fight? We need you." All right. So I didn't even have I didn't even fight trunks. I had to, if you look at my weigh-in picture, I just had a pair of Adidas shorts, and I hawked out. Wow. <laughs> so so he, t- he takes this like on a few days' notice, but, but as you got to follow this as a solid. Yeah. He does this. Gets bit by a guy. Looks, turns to the referee and goes, Man, this guy friggin' bit me. Kyle jumps on him and, and, and hits him a couple times. They stop it. TKO. He's got like teeth marks like uh-huh. all over him. And then guess what the UFC does? Fired me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they wish me best in my future endeavors. Oh, geez. So, but you know, I got nothing bad to say. No, they, it, they brought me back for the Ultimate Fighter, and then even after that, after that poor performance, because you know what, I got caught in a head and arm, which I was very comfortable with. Mm-hmm. I mean, Mir put me in it. I've been in it a hundred times. Mm-hmm. But ju- I fought Justin Wren on the show. He put me in a head and arm, and. I was just too comfortable, I think, because all of a sudden I, I seen Herb and I'm like, I'm good. All of a sudden I'm waking up. I'm like, oh, no. It happens that quick, man. Put me yeah. out. Choke me unconscious. Yeah, wow. So so did Tim Sylvia fail a piss test? Or, yeah. So he, yeah. they knew that he was going to do it? or you, They thought he was going to do it, and then they brought me in just in case. And so. he did. So he, I, had, he did. What I think what happened was I, I think he he failed a urine test, uh-huh. probably did the – and this is – you know, just spectacle. Spe- yeah, yeah spe- spe- pure speculation. When any any time a fighter fails a drug test, how many of them go, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah, yeah"? Or do they say, "No, it must have been a fluke. I'll take a second one. Just fly me out. I'll take a second yeah. one." And a quick turnaround time. It's, eh, this isn't looking good. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it yeah. was one of those type situations. Yeah, you know, more than anything, and you know, they they flew us out. 